Hello, Leo. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. How are you? How's everyone doing? I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. I hope you guys are feeling amazing. I just want to tell you, Leo, I am so, so grateful for all of you. I cannot believe we are here. Welcome. We are here for our June, where are you guys? Our June 1st through the 15th. Yes, you guys, I'm super excited, Leo. How are you feeling, my loves? You guys have been fantastic. You guys have been so amazing. Leo, I love you. Thank you for always being present, you guys. Oh my gosh, I, I'm eternally grateful. Okay, and I cannot wait to just, wow, you guys, listen, we are going to pick up the zodiacs. We are going to go back to our pick card readings, which I'm really excited about. Yes, you guys, and we are going to get back on our schedule, so please hang in there with me. I know it's been quite some time, you guys. I will try to fix the microphone situation. I know it's been, you know, a lot of back and forth, you guys. I know a lot of you have been wondering what's going on with my microphone, why things aren't so loud, or you guys have mentioned um, voice. Okay, so I hope that it's better. Okay, I hope that it's getting better. And yes, you guys, I'm excited nonetheless. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on, you guys. My dear Leos, Gemini season, welcome. Okay, welcome, welcome, my dear Leos. Okay, yes, the sun, you guys. Hold on a second, you guys. Wow, Leo. Okay, let me know what's going on in your world, you guys. I feel there's... There's a major change here for you, Leo. Okay. Okay, my loves. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I'm a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards, you guys. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient, you guys. I am a medium, and I do offer mediumship-based readings. All that information is priced below, you guys, so yes, I'm so, so excited. And I do have donation links, you guys. I have Cash App, I have my Venmo, I have my PayPal, and I have my Indie Deck Wishlist, so yes. You guys, it's a wonderful time, Leo. Where's your heart, Leo? Okay. It's just a bit late, you guys. So I am really excited to share this space with you. I know it's just a little bit. Um, I can't wait to get back into the sun, you guys. Leo, yes. Okay, getting ourselves back into the sun. Okay. Wow, you guys. Okay, Leo. Let's see what's going on, you guys. Okay, dear Leo, also, I just want to tell you, I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session if you guys are interested. I do have an amazing, an amazing um, Instagram, you guys. Listen, a lot of you, there are, I do have a few, unfortunately, there has been um, notification of scam accounts, you guys, fraudulent accounts, which I'm really upset about, Okay. And I just wanted to touch base with you, and I wanted to tell you, okay, to just be careful, you guys. I am not currently doing what's up, okay? I'm not currently doing what's up, so just in case, you guys, if you're wondering, okay, just in case if you guys are wondering if um, you're getting messages from me, I am messaging some of you for business purposes, okay? But I am not doing what's up, okay? So just, just an FYI. Okay, my loves. Yes, Leo. You are free, Leo. Some of you, there's something around freedom here, okay? Some of you may be 
really worried about your freedom right now, Leo. Gemini season, the first through the 15th, you guys. Leo. Where is your heart, Leo? Listen, Gemini season, June 1st through the 15th, you guys. Some of you, fertility, we do have hair here. I am I'm having a vision here of long hair. Some of you are growing it out. Some of you guys have some kind of strong connection to your hair through religion, through maybe um, traditional um, cultures, you guys. Some of you, there's something around your hair here. You guys are taking pride. And of course, Leo, we have hair. Okay, but aside from the original, okay, aside from the original definition, you guys, a lot of you, bravery, Leo, okay? We do have death and rebirth. We have Pluto here. Okay, listen, Leo. Some of you, there's a major change here. Okay, there's a major ending for you. Okay, wow. Let's see here, my loves. Wow, you guys. Okay, we do have beautiful purple here, you guys. We do have an activation of your third eye, okay? We do have an activation of your light. Okay, this is an activation of your, your power, Leo. Okay, some of you, listen, this month, Gemini, again, it's really, the earth is pulling you up. Earth is pulling you up, you guys. Okay, it's really showing you guidance. Listen, some of you, this is about how you guys come back from the past differently. Okay, there's something here around judgment. There's something here around judgment. Okay, we do have Gabriel. Okay, we do have Gabriel here. We have the number three and we have the number nine. Listen, a lot of you, you're working with people here, you're collaborating. Okay, some of you may be feeling confused or you're experiencing psychic attacks here. Okay, there may be something here that you guys are going through in regards to your, um, to your transformation, you guys. A lot of your mental health is here. Okay, we do have this beautiful reminder of an iris. It reminds me of the power of um, ancient Egypt, you guys. Okay, the power of um, the ancient ones. Okay, Leo, some of you may be forgetting your abilities or you're unclear about something, Leo. Okay, don't forget. Don't forget your light, my loves. This isn't easy. Some of you headaches. Okay, please protect your third eye. Some of you, this has to do with your headaches or it has to do with some kind of direct correlation to your, your um, spiritual abilities, okay? A lot of you are exposing something or you're talking about something or you have some kind of platform here, okay? People may not like it. People may feel um, attacked. 
okay? Or maybe there's a reoccurring theme here of constant, um, constant adoration, okay? There's a little bit, I have to be very honest, you guys, there's a little bit of some jealousy here, some envy, okay? I don't know what you want to call it, you guys. I don't really like that word to begin with, but um, it's almost as if the more you are kind of bringing something to light, the more there's dark, okay? The more there is dark. And this is due to your light. You're exposing something this month, you guys. And it really has to do with fatherhood. It really has to do with a divine masculine energy. It has to do with this connection to the earth, you guys. A lot of you, this um, theme, collectively Leo, you're just being very honest, okay? A lot of you are stepping into your power and you're saying there's an injustice here. I don't like it, okay? I don't like that we are hiding things for the sake of hiding things. Some of you have, have to carry the veil, Leo, okay? Some of you are carrying the veil. My spirit guide sir, this is a, a phrase here, an intuitive message towards your north node, okay? Your, your soul's mission. And this color is also an activation of Archangel Metatron, you guys. So some of you, this is very much, um, some of you guys are shocked that this is happening. Some of you guys can't believe this. You're disappointed. Some of you guys, um, it's like you're, you're asking people, how, how could we stoop so low? Okay, or how could things get this, this um, intense? <laughs> okay. Wow, you guys, we do have Jupiter here. Some of you is discovery, okay, especially around the fifth. I do see people um, shocked that you know, okay? You, you've discovered something, you're talking about it, okay? A lot of you may be um, in complete shock as well, but you've been going through something, Leo. A lot of you people have no idea, okay? You've been not just carrying, you know, the burden of your ancestors, okay, or the legacy here. You've also been carrying secrets to protect people. You're trying to protect their pri private information. Some of you guys, your loyalty is getting you in trouble, okay? But sometimes, there's something around choice this month, okay? Gemini season, listen, I think we've talked about this, Mercury. It's really restless. There's a lot of anxiety about where am I headed in life? Where am I going in life? Which way am I going? What direction? Okay, and it's really... I feel for a lot of you, people want to know what you know. People are asking you questions. So what do you know, Leah? What exactly do you know about this? Can you tell me more? Okay. So this is especially true for my Leos who have Scorpio in your chart, okay? If you're the way around, you guys, if you are a Scorpio with Leo in your chart, okay? Okay, you guys, let's see here. My loves, my dear Leo. Yes, you guys. Some of you are starting a teaching opportunity here in about three days. Okay, I do see a teaching opportunity or mentorship in three days. Or there's some kind of um, someone is recognizing you. You guys are receiving a lot of the accolades. You guys, give me one second. Okay. Someone here is recognizing you. Okay. Someone who's in a, a place of power or they've seen your work. They really like your work and they're like taking your side. This person has really acknowledged Okay, your work, you guys. Okay, let's see here, you guys. We do have gold here. We have abundance. Okay, Leo. Wow. This is a time of speaking your truth. It's going to pay off, okay? It's paying off, you guys. 
And a big part of this has to do with exposing something. This isn't easy. You guys may be getting attacked for talking about it, okay? Um, psychically attacked, which means just a lot of um, migraines, okay? The evil eye maybe changes in your, your aesthetic, changes in your health drastically, okay? Um, it could be... Yes, Leo. Wow. You know, a lot of this has to do with the raven and time. Okay, you guys are honoring time. A lot of you, Cronus, okay? We have Zeus here. We have the power of time and space. big part of this, Leo. You're tired. Listen, Leo. <laughs> A lot of you guys, you are exhausted. Okay, Leo, this money that's coming towards you, I have to be very honest. This is something that there's a lot of joy here, but some of you are saying, but what about my courage? Okay, what about my courage? Yes, there's money on the table, but what about, okay, but what about, <laughs> oh, Leo, my dear Leo, wow, you guys, yes, you guys, this is, this is, um, you know, a lot of you are coming from a past life here. You have a holy, holy land past life here. Okay, resurrection of the, yes, you guys, of divine Sophia. Sometimes I have to kind of, <laughs> spirit just wants to just go and channel it right through me, you guys, but I have to be very careful. Um, so at certain times, when we're one-on-one, -on -one, you guys, I'll, I'll let, let go, okay? Just an FYI, when I channel it. Um, yeah, you guys, listen, the Divine Feminine here. Okay, we have the power of the Divine Feminine. A lot of you, there's some kind of closure with Mother, either court around receiving some kind of financial aid, something that's already yours, okay, something that's meant for you, but you just have to really talk about it, okay, or you have to really get in there to see what this is for you. Okay, Leo, and also be aware of delusions or any kind of, um, anything that feels really kind of um, light around the body. Okay, the earth right now, I do feel the earth has been really pulling us up so we can meditate, so we can practice our, our sense of stability, so we can, okay, really tune in, you guys, to our gifts. Okay, so things are feeling very flighty. They're feeling light around the body, you guys. They're feeling really beautiful. Okay. But there's something about this wealth, you guys. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, back in the Roman times. Please quote me if I'm wrong. You know, um, comment below, you guys, just in case. Okay. It was, um, money was on the table. This is the Jesus Christ, the Passion of Christ. Okay, and there was money on the table, you guys. And it still just felt a bit empty. Okay, like an empty reward, like an empty triumph. Okay, and this had to do with Jesus, of course. This had to do with his crucifixion. Okay, so there's something about this this week, a lot of you are kind of looking at this like, yes, there's money on the table, okay, but what about, okay, you guys, there's a major change here for you, Leo, this isn't easy, okay, a lot of this comes with separating your power some of you may feel like your past isn't working. You don't want to be friends with people from the past anymore. Some of you guys are feeling as if 
you know, whatever this is, it's not working anymore. I need something new. I need something different. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, Leo, we have the 12th house, Scorpio. There's hidden information here, okay? We do have crown chakra energy. Yeah, I believe. I believe. You are in a state of, I believe, I create. Some of you, there's something around listening. Okay, there's this theme around what's being said. There's a theme here around um, gossip. The people, um, they've been kind of slandering something here, you guys. Okay? This is to do with some kind of travel situation. How is it that you get to travel so freely? How is it? Okay? Where's your, where's your crown of, of, of thorns? How is it that you, you get freedom, Leo? Or you get some kind of parade here? Okay, you're winning a case or you're winning some something, you guys. Okay, um, if it's an inheritance, it will be yours. Okay? But it, it comes at the cost, you guys. There's spell work here. I do see, you know, there's something around exposing this light. Okay? It's like there's more. It's like I'm having a vision here of the dark moon wanting to kind of hide what's happening. Okay? Libra. We do have Libra here. Some of you are meeting your future spouse this week, okay? We'll get there in just a second, Leo. Okay, yes, my loves, listen. Right now, okay, the universe is really speaking to you through different methods, you guys. Okay, different methods of communication styles, feathers, um, conversations with others. I know mine is usually through hearing certain things in passing, I'm walking down the street and people are having a great conversation and all of a sudden, okay, I hear little bits and pieces. It's only like little bits, like, um, you know, major themes, okay? It could be anything, wealth. It could be, oh, I'm getting paid tomorrow or finances are coming in or I'm so lucky or you're lucky, okay? Like little, little things, you guys, whatever kind of pulls your ear in, okay? Your angels, Leo, they're saying, pay attention, Leo. You are loved, okay? Pay attention to the divine guidance that you have right in front of you. This is about seeing every aspect of your life, Leo. Some of you have had enough. I, I see you're frustrated. Some of you guys are tired. You're tired of something here, Leo. You've heard it for the last time. Um, people are dependent on you, Leo. Something is not moving in terms of work right now. If you guys are managing, this is for my managers or people in a position of power here. Um, people are not listening to what you're saying, okay? They may be doing, okay? But, you know, it's interesting. When I think of listening, I always think of my connection to Gabriel, okay? Whenever I connect to Gabriel, there's a softer side to me. There's this... Um, it's more of a, a reminder that I, I'm both, okay? I'm either equally in the right, equally in the wrong, okay? It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay not to be perfect, you guys. So these two colors, okay? The reminders of Gabriel, my loves. To just free yourself, you guys. Free yourself from guilt or... Yeah, you guys, there's a lot going on here, okay? You do have people chatting a bit. Okay, people want to understand why things are a little maybe imbalanced. You're getting something that they're not. Um, for others, it's almost as if the room has stopped moving while flowers are in front of you. Okay, do you see that? It's like there's a pause. Okay, there's a small pause here and the flowers are just still. So people are talking to you, and, and some of you may, please take care of your, your heart, Leo. Again, a little bit of anxiety this week. Clear it with um, dandelion tea for some of you. Your mind, okay? 
there are bits and pieces here coming from a Gemini, coming from a Capricorn. You're going to hear it in passing. Okay, people who want to share with you divine guidance, it's going to feel really holy, very special. Okay, and if it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be religious, you guys. Okay, it's just going to feel light. Like, yes, that resonates. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, you guys. Some of you people may not want to talk to you after you expose something. And if it's not you exposing, someone here is bringing it to light for you. They're protecting you, especially if it's a Scorpio. Okay, I see a Scorpio here. The Scorpio's had enough. They have had enough of the injustice. They're done. This person is um, either a lawyer, um, they're protecting you, or um, they're a friend with some kind of power. Okay, but it's up to you to walk through it. Okay, it's up to you, you guys. And the Scorpio is fed up, you guys. That's it. Okay, they will not stop until they win. Okay. As long as they reach that point, you guys, that's it. That is it. Okay, listen. Not everything that glitters is gold, Leo. Yes. Okay, we do have the Knight of Cups, you guys, in reverse. So in your life right now, Leo, the Gemini season, Mercury. Some of you, um, there's an offer here again. Okay, be aware of what is true to you. This is going to require sobriety or it's going to require a bit of a sober heart. Someone wants to, there's a lot of this. Okay, yes, wealth is on the table, but at what cost, you guys? Yeah, with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Great, I have a cup, okay? But now what? It's almost as if people don't want, they, listen, your community right now needs attention, Leo. People, they're having a hard time seeing you with this cup. And that's not like them. So what is it? Okay, what is this? Okay, some of you, please clear clear your channel this week with uh, thyme. Excuse me, oh my gosh. Uh, thyme or thyme. Um, basil. Okay, do a little bit of um, coconut, you guys. Please clear, clear your channels, you guys. Okay. We do have some people here casting. There, there's spell work here in groups. Okay. Some of you, um, it's not bad, you guys, collectively. We're all kind of, you know, sticking together. I, I do see that here. Okay, we all have a belief. Okay, and if you don't, this is kind of where we're headed this week. Something around your community, even your neighborhood, you guys. Everyone must believe in one thing or every... One has to kind of believe in something, okay, or a theme. There's going to be a collective mush, okay, um, if there already hasn't been, of course. Where have I been? Um, so there's an expectation, okay, of something here. But Leo, my only thing here is people may not want to see your cup, Leo, okay, especially a Pisces. This person's younger, they're like 22, 23. How, why did you get a cup? You know, what about, what about everyone else? Okay, that, that's all this person can see is why you? Why not me? Okay. So just gentle around, you know, around how you're sharing your wealth this week, how you're expressing it. Doesn't mean you have to dim anything here, you guys. It just means grace, okay, when money is in your hands. Grace when it's not, right? So kind of balancing both here. But let's see, you guys. Some of you, there's an offer two days from the Virgo. There are a lot of mountains here, you guys. Okay, so it may feel really um, abundant, you guys, but I, I see some hardships on this, okay? Leo. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Wow. Your 
abilities. Some of you are um, psychics, you are healers, um, you are completely like out in public about this, and if not, okay, you will be. There's something going public here for you, okay? Some of you, Leo, this will, it's making you not want to listen or you just don't want to hear it, okay? Someone here wants to apologize. I'm so sorry that it, hap it happened this way or you're going to get justice, Leo, okay? You will get justice, but someone here is also going on and on and on. Some of you are exhausted. Your inner child, Leo, your 11th house, you're tired, okay? Some of you are just... Give me the money and that's it. <laughs> Some of you are just like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Or some of you, yeah, there's something really life-changing for you here around your words, Leo. Okay, once it's said, that's it. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, we have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person's tired, you guys. They're, they're fully supportive of you. This is a person that really wants to hold space for you this week, you guys. They work with you. They are um, really in love with your work. They are um, so apologetic, you guys. This person is very protective, okay? Especially if you guys have any kind of um, any, any uh, aches, you guys, around the shoulder area due to your throat chakra, if you haven't been able to speak your truth person is making sure that you can. Okay, so let's see here, you guys. Yeah, th this person likes to wear emerald, or they wear, wear a lot of greens. They, they look great in green, you guys. They look fantastic. Okay. And, wow, let me take a look here, you guys. Your Ascended Masters. Okay. You do have Ascended Masters here who are protecting your psychic abilities. Some of you, um, some of you around children, you guys, please take care of your children a little bit more this week, or they, they may need some kind of psychic protection if you guys are into spell work, okay? For others, you are traveling the children. There's something around children and innocence, okay? Your innocence. And God or the universe really trying to communicate with you about your past. Okay? You cannot move on from this, Leo, without do just trying. Okay, Leo? Can you try a little bit? Can you talk about it? Or can you find a way to really get it out your system with the Ace of Swords in reverse? Okay? Divine Intervention. For others, you have a twin flame here that you're working with. Okay, this twin. Okay, there's this. Give me a second, you guys. Some of you. There's a, a secret here. Okay, there's some kind of secret that's it's kind of pulling you guys down into a low vibrational place. You're back and forth. You're fighting for no reason. Or there's constant friction about why are you doing the things this way? Or why are things happening this way? Why aren't you doing this? Some of you may not realize this is your twin. Others, um, this is a soulmate or your future spouse. Okay? And a lot of you, there's a lot of back and forth fighting or some kind of revelation here. Okay? This person, they protect you a lot. They do. They really care about you. But there's some kind of situation, you guys, here that feels really heavy to the shoulders. Be aware of um, maybe even overexpressing something this week. It's it's okay to remain private about this love. Okay, your person may not know. Someone here, you may not know, this person may not know. But there's a revelation of your love here. Okay, they like to drink. Someone here likes to drink, or, or they like to, um, you know, talk a lot <laughs> drunk. Okay, and there's some kind of exposure here, okay, um, about their love, you guys. Okay, but it, uh, uh, wow. 
And if it's not, yeah. Some of you, people in your environment are blocking this connection because they don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear it. This goes back to Babylon. This goes back to the time of Babylon, you guys, okay? It was something around your song wasn't heard, okay? People didn't want to hear what you had to say. There is a public form of expression for both of you or some kind of literature or maybe even a presentation here, okay? Let's talk about love, you guys. Okay, let's see here, you guys. Leo in love. We do have some of your fifth house, your health, Leo. I keep reminding you, okay? Your health, my dear Leo. Let's talk about it. I'm so sorry, you guys. Your health, Leo. The moon. Okay, we do have the moon here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone is uh, getting out of a rehab center. Okay, someone is getting out of some kind of, or, or you are, or you're getting out of some kind of um, mental health um, situation. And if not, you're just seeing things clearly. Okay. Wow. Some of you feel betrayed by your divine counterpart. Okay, how could you? Okay, how could you? That's interesting, you guys, collectively for our divine uh, unions. Okay. There's this fear around perfection or perfectionism. Okay, there's this fear of I'm spending the rest of my life with you. There's this fear of some kind of acknowledgement here, you guys, around feminine energy. You just have a hold over this person, okay? Calling in your soulmate, you guys. Someone here is blocking you from your divine counterpart. Okay, this person, they, they're overdoing some kind of affection here. Okay, let me see, you guys. It's overdone, you guys. This person's a Libra. They're a Libra for some of you. Um, this is a, a Capricorn. They've lost sight of their, their soul, you guys. You guys have been an angel to this person. Okay. They may not be ready to heal. Okay, or they're under some kind of spell here. But this situation is blocking you from moving forward. You have someone here waiting for you. Like, are you seeing it yet? Why is this person always hovering over you? This person will literally hover over you. Air, excuse me, air sign or earth sign. Um, yeah, you guys, they're blocking your light. They're blocking your ability to see your light. Wow. What's going on in love, Leo? June, Scorpio. I keep getting a strong Scorpionic energy here. Okay, we do have let your friends help you. Okay, in reverse. This is a third party, you guys. There's someone here has been a third party with romantic feelings. Okay. Listen, you guys, some of you, you have someone here who's really, really, um, they want you to see them, okay? They want you to see what they, you know, who they are, what they want. Okay, I'm so sorry I lied to you about my partner in the past. I'm so sorry that there's a lot of I'm sorry's here. The 11th and 12th, okay? This person had a partner, or they're recently divorced, you guys. And the thought of losing you, it's like really life-threatening, okay? If this is your twin, you guys, this has to do with your job. 
this person, they're not able to really give you everything you want, you guys. It's like they're blocking their own psyche here because of whatever um, institution they had to be in or was some kind of um, religion or practice. Look at them, you guys. Look, look at their poor face, okay? They're on their last wing here. Look at that. <laughs> They were saying, I am on my last wing, okay? Yes, you guys. Wow. Yes, my loves, this person there, yes, we have Leo Sagittarius. They've, um, the only reason why, you know, I say uh, be cautious with this person, this isn't someone that you work with collectively. I don't feel this is your person that you work with, you guys. But I do see this is a divine counterpart. They um, are coming out of something that's really tough on their mind. So some kind of brainwashing or some kind of, you know, um, practice around spirituality um, where they had to do some kind of extreme training, you guys, like an extreme process of maybe even Wudan or a very dark practice, okay, where you have to chant. It's like you're chanting something over and over and over and over. They have nightmares, you guys, there's PTSD here, okay? Um, it could be for several other things here as well, but there's something around the chanting. I don't, my spirit guides are showing me chants, okay? And um, for some, this is a Virgo Sag, or they have Virgo and Sag in their chart. And um, yes, Leo, okay, they're tired, but they do want to come in and apologize. They want to fight for your love, okay? They, they really want to just kind of have a moment with you. They want to talk to you here, but their health, okay, Leo? Some of you, both of you, if you guys are mirroring health, okay, this is a twin. It, yes, you guys, typically, usually around the, the uh, mind right now, a lot, of, a lot of our twin flame situations, they're really moving through a lot of mental health, um, restoration, balance, especially fire signs. We're not used to kind of not that we're casted out, but we're not used to kind of um, not not pushing, okay? We're not used to not pushing in our life or being ambitious. That's not natural for us, okay? So there's some kind of uh, maybe even a, a touch of a de depressive mood here, okay? Not too much, you guys. So your person is really a bit out of sorts. They've changed their hair. You may not recognize this person, you guys. Okay, but they want to apologize, Leo. I have to be very honest. In my vision, I'm having a vision of a globe in water like Atlas. It's very similar, okay, to Atlas here. Okay, and it's moving counterclockwise. You guys, a lot of water. This person is a part of your destiny, but they are not the destination for some of you. So please tread carefully. Right person, wrong time, okay? For others, wrong person, right time, perhaps this is a new relationship for you, okay? But it may not be forever, okay? For some, it may, okay? But something even around, um, somebody, this person will, um, it's like they're, they're helping you in regards to your fertility or your feminine energy for some of you. So if naturally you're very aggressive, this person is naturally really yielding to you and it makes you softer, okay? Some of you may not want to argue anymore. Some of you, you're just kind of like, you flow, okay? They bring balance, you guys. They hold the keys to balance, okay? So let's see here. Let's see, my loves. What's going on in love, you guys? For others, Leo. I understand, Leo. A lot of you are tired, okay? Listen, you have a wave of partners here that are coming towards you. Okay, people are actually really, really interested in you, Leo. We have Libra. We have Leo here. We have Aries, Sag, and we also have Virgo. Oh, 
okay there's also this um, in a second you guys an infinite symbol okay Leo some of you have had to leave the, this person behind okay some of you have loved someone for a decade or more you guys okay Some of you guys have loved this person for a really long time, okay? This is love from a very ancient past, you guys, and it's really painful, okay? There's something about this person, and it has to do with escaping, or it has to do with never seeing them again. There's a longing, okay? There's some kind of longing. Do you still remember me? You have the moon in reverse in love. Okay, Leo. Some of you are very clear about fertility right now. Some of you guys are feeling more clear about your direction. Some of you guys are starting to really dive into your shadow work. Full moon readings, my loves. I just did mine yesterday, and I had to do a few affirmations. I let go. I surrender the outcome. I no longer am attached to idealism. My Sagittarius moon gets the best in me, you guys. Okay. Yes, you guys, listen. For a lot of you, this is about clearing, clearing your channel, you guys, clearing your past so you can move on for some of you. For others, you have partners who are waiting. Okay, they're waiting for you to heal. Okay, some of you, this person, they, they want a chance at your heart, Leo. Okay, they're wondering if it's ever going to be time. Scorpio is really at it here. They are waiting for you. <laughs> Scorpio really loves you guys. When is it? When, when is it a good time? When is it a good time, Leo? Okay, we have the 13th ray, you guys, your ascended master. Please make sure you guys are connecting with the earth lotus flowers. Please connect with flowers that you can grow on your own. Okay, so we do have the Nine of Pentacles, Leo, others you're deciding to remain single. If you're single, you have people here who are waiting. Okay, you have Capricorn, they're wondering what's going on, are you going to travel with them, are you, are you interested? Okay, for others you're choosing your money. Okay, you're saying, listen, I don't have time. Okay. Some of you are saying, I don't have time for this. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, Leo. Be aware of um, people who are asking about your love life, okay? Like the usual, you know, people maybe want to ask about your past. So how many people have you dated so far? Or, um, that's a Gemini question I usually get as a Leo, um, you know, what's going on with, uh, you know, how many marriages you have, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing, okay, oh my gosh, yes, there's someone here who's very curious about your life, you guys, okay, it's okay to hold back a little bit, it's okay, um, maybe not to share it too much, yeah, to just be, um, a little more conservative, you guys, so yes, listen, there's a lot of communication here, People want to talk, they want to chat, they want to get to know you, Leo. Okay? But just cleanse. Cleanse your heart, Leo. There's a lot of pain here. Okay? You have an infinite cycle in love. And the truth is with Leo, once we stay, we stay. We don't, you know, we're kind of, <laughs> where are we going to go? Okay? Once we love, we love. And if not, we just choose our wealth, you guys. We just decide to kind of, you know, accumulate the wealth and... Um, go from there, you guys, okay, general, general statement, but who is this with the nine of pentacles, you guys, 
Okay, there's someone here um, in service here, hospital, you guys. This person may be a nurse or they're a doctor or they're doing something for a living. Okay, for others, there's someone here who is, isn't doing well. This is your divine counterpart. You may be visiting this person back and forth. Okay. Um, some of you, um, let me see here, you guys. Someone here isn't sure about their commitment to you, so they'd rather say, um, they'd rather stay committed to the unknown. Okay. Yes, Leo, especially for a Sag. Okay. You're coming out of the cold here. This is what the infinite symbol is all about, you guys. We have Saturn, the love that never dies, you guys. Okay. It's just consistent, okay? It's very consistent here. Our love that's everlasting, it moves through cycles and it just never really has an end here with the light, okay? So some of you are coming out of a situation here, okay? Some of you guys may be coming out of this. Some of you are coming out of this situation, okay? Um, yeah, you guys, please take care of your feet, okay? Please take care of your feet, you guys. Yeah, some of you, you're choosing a new path in love, okay? Orion, the star Orion here, your 11th house. Someone here is confessing their love in about three to five days, you guys. This is a Capricorn. This is someone that really likes you, okay? But your your lifestyle is really important to this person. How many people, okay, this is the how many people. Very sweet, very loving, 